All right, question 34. Okay, we're looking for the roots of this uh, quadratic equation. Another term for root is we're looking for the solutions, okay? What is x? What is x that makes this equation true? Question mark. Okay, uh, if you remember factoring comes in handy here. So what you need to do is actually subtract six on both sides and set it equal to zero. You get x squared minus x minus six. On the other side, you should get zero now. Now you want to factor this out. Okay, what two numbers, when you multiply them, you'll get negative six. Okay, negative six. And when you add them together, you get negative one. Okay. Well, if you guess x minus three and x plus two, you are correct. There you go. So those, those are your factors. x plus two, x minus three. Now to find the uh, roots, and you're not finished here, you need to set that x plus 2 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0, and for the roots are x equals negative 2, and the x equals positive 3, okay? And that's your answer. Alright, let's see this question over here All right take a minute or two we'll actually take pause and then take a minute or two we'll read it and we'll answer the question all right this question is asking you to find the um, on the mean and the median scores well let's start with the mean my right, mean is also the average and what you want to do is you want to add up all the scores and divide it by the number of scores we have. So let's add them. Um, we have 80 and 80, that's 160. 72 and 78, you add them together, you get 150. Okay, and you have uh, 85 and 93, add them together, you get 8 here. and 488 all right so the total is 488 and we're going to divide by the number of scores we have here so we have one two three four five six six students average comes out to be around 81.33 okay we'll bar on top and this says round it off to the nearest tenth Right, so the mean equals 81.3. Okay, let's find the median. All right, for the median, you can start slashing the lowest number and the highest number, but first put them in order. The median equals, well, let's see. Put them in order, 72. 78, 80, 85, and 93. Okay, take care, take out the lowest, take out the highest, keep on going down. But down to the final two, uh, you should take the average of 80 and 80, but the average between those two is 80, so the median is going to be 80. Okay, now that we have the mean and the median, I uh, want to take a look at this other part of the question, which asked for what happens when uh, Miss Mosher adds five bonus points to each of the students' sixth grades. Okay, well let's see what happens to the mean first. If you add five points to each one's grade, right, everyone's gonna go by five. Right, Seventy-two becomes uh, seventy-seven. Eighty add five. Right. And how many fives are we adding? really just adding 60 more points to the previous average so take it down 488 plus 30 points extra if everyone gets five bonus points the new total is going to be 518 
but we're dividing it by the same amount of students, six, and your mean is actually going to be around 86.3. Okay. Well, let's see what happens to the median. Well, if you add five points to all the medians over here, okay, nothing really changes. The middle number will still be the same, but instead of 80 this time, it's going to be 80 plus 5. So the median is going to be 85. Our mean is going to be 86. So our conclusion is that the mean and median goes up by 5 points.